Now, there's no doubt about it that a lot of Star Wars fans are truly looking forward to the Ahsoka Tano series for several different reasons, because not only will it be introducing the live-action iteration of Grand Admiral Thrawn, Sabine, Ezra, and even Eros Syndulla, plus the addition of some Star Wars Legends characters. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the kind and great support. Now that brings us to exactly what Kathleen Kennedy is up to, given that she's still struggling heavily with shows like The Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, given that those two shows, by the way, are 100% in her control, except with the exception of John and Dave fixing a couple of scenes here and there, which really isn't all that much, and I don't believe it's going to save those shows, but I digress. The thing about Kathleen Kennedy is that she's been a lot more vocal lately, really kind of criticizing the openly opinionated fans that really raise their voices, and she hasn't really been treating the fans all that well, and let alone George Lucas. So we're going to be tapping into exactly what she recently had to say about what she's actually doing to not just the fans, but also to George Lucas's philosophy and his vision, and it's not good. You know, when we look at everything related to Kathleen Kennedy, it's always been about some kind of self-sabotage to Star Wars from what it looks like. Either intentional or unintentional, I don't know. It comes across as intentional, but let's get right down to this. Now, we already know that the Skeleton Crew series is labeled as by far the most toxic crew and environment as we have talked about. Uh, when it comes to Disney Star Wars. Even some crew members quit from the series. They had to get new people on board. It's just been a mess. So, related to all of this, all right, with Kathleen Kennedy very involved with the Acolyte and Skeleton crew and also facing complications with both of those shows, However, in a recent interview with Kathleen Kennedy, she told the fans the worst thing that is only going to cause more controversy about her view and plans for Star Wars. Kathleen Kennedy went on to say, say the following when she was questioned about her shows. Well, it's all about cutting loose of that burden from fans who want George's vision. We are untying our connection to George's philosophy of Star Wars and what it means to fans in creating our own new philosophy using the Acolyte mostly and even Skeleton Crew. Myself, Leslie, and John Watts are doing great things with these shows to write things on a blank canvas and to really divert from anything familiar from the Star Wars franchise. So let me just stop here quick for a second. Number one, she's labeling George Lucas's philosophy and vision of the franchise as a burden including the fans that support it. This is Kathleen Kennedy for you guys, right? I mean, it's not all that surprising, but it just continues to surprise me that she just makes this openly public to, of course, all fans and just the general common moviegoers and streaming, you know, uh, subscribers. So the thing about this is that Kathleen Kennedy confirming that Skeleton Crew and the Acolyte will not only be diverting away from George Lucas's philosophy, but it's also going to be pretty much overriding the current lore and canon that he set up. And this is something that John and Dave have been very skeptical and worried about. This is something that the Disney board members have been very worried about. She actually dives into this in just a second and really elaborates more so. What I personally am very worried about when it comes to Skeleton Crew and The Acolyte is not just the quality of those shows, but also what kind of canon-breaking situations are we going to find ourselves in? You know, we've already heard that those two shows are going to have multiple canon-breaking scenarios that's going to impact not just the prequel trilogy, but also elements of the original trilogy movies, at least for Skeleton Crew. And that's one thing I think to be worried about. The other thing about this, too, is that when you look at everything related to John Watts, who, by the way, is a good dear friend of John Favreau. Uh, he worked on the Spider-Man films under Disney. Uh, he's in a very tough spot because he's taking a lot of orders from Kathleen Kennedy. John and Kennedy do not agree on each other's vision of Star Wars, so it kind of puts them in a very odd spot when it comes to John Watts. 
So, of course, on to the next big thing here. She goes on to actually continue to say, We didn't want to use any big story elements that were pitched to us from John and Dave in the beginning, and though I can confirm that they are helping us from these stories and that we are keeping their vision down to a bare minimum so that we can tell our story the way we want for the community to see. We feel that too much of an influence of George's work is not a healthy thing for Star Wars and that fans should learn to let go of the old and embrace the new. Additionally, we are focused on retelling certain canon and lore that was created by George to better support our story to create new fans for this franchise and brand. Now, I do have to just stop here again, because when you look at Kathleen Kennedy as a person and as a businesswoman, it's always somehow, some way, relating to some kind of sabotage of the franchise. I don't know why she has this obsession. Like I said before, whether or not it's intentional or unintentional, I don't know. You know, we're not quite sure about that. But looking at what we have seen, it's pretty safe to say that what she's doing is indeed intentional. She seems to have something against George Lucas. We already know that Steven Spielberg openly made it known that it was very hard to work with Kathleen Kennedy and it wasn't the most pleasant experience. So even from Spielberg himself, really put it out, putting it out there years ago, by the way, that Kathleen Kennedy is really just not a stable person to work with. And so it really makes you wonder what's going to happen with these two shows. We already know that Disney higher-ups gave Kennedy an ultimatum that they're now stripping down the marketing for Skeleton Crew. We're not going to be seeing all that many TV spots and maybe only one trailer at the most. And that's because they're trying to dial back on how much money they're going to spend on the marketing. Now, originally, by the way, they wanted to actually have some kind of tease for Skeleton Crew during the Super Bowl and that's now not looking likely anymore. Uh, you guys may have noticed that in the Disney Plus roundup of shows that were teased that shows a lot of footage, uh, some of the episodes, or some of the footage I should say, <laughs> that was televised, uh, some of them include skeleton crew footage and the latest ones rip it out of that actual roundup. So it does kind of tell you what's going on. So the other thing that I think needs to be really explained here in greater depth is what's going on with the Skeleton Crew series. Now, there's been a lot of setbacks, a lot of rewrites, a lot of reshoots. That's exactly why they're gonna be filming this thing all the way until March, all right? So we got a long time to go until we're gonna be able to see Skeleton Crew. It's looking more and more likely to be a November and or December release at this point, because Ahsoka's not coming out till the summer, then you need a break, then you have to do some minimum marketing for Skeleton Crew. So yeah, we're looking at a November to December release window because they're not even done filming yet and they won't be done filming until mid to late March. So anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah, no.